We're gonna eat this place called Mukamototo. No. <laughs> what is that? Isn't it called Mukamototo? What's that? It's Della Nono. Della de Mono. Mono. Muka de Popo. Della Mono. See their cold brew, the color is like so yeah. light, but uh, it tastes it's so clean. I still remember his method is very unique. He would have a tub, coffee grind, and he used cold, I wouldn't say cold, but like chilled water. It wasn't like cold cold. He just spray it down, let it sit, spray it down, let it sit. That was his method. They're, they have one on, on fig. We could walk there as well. Yeah, we can dishes. walk there. It's called low water. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Oh, I'm so sorry, Your Majesty. Oh my. Look, look! Be damned. I am excited. This is it. Guys, they're closed on Sunday and Monday. <laughs> you know what got me is... Okay. It said opening no, soon. No, 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 no. Look. It says opens at 5. On Tuesday. But then... No, no, it says opens at 5 on Tuesday. Close on Sunday and Monday. Oh my god, I was so excited. I already picked out what I was going to get. Should we just try the other place? We ended up coming to another place. Parking is so expensive in LA, really. Like, it's over $10 to just park. So every time you go out for dinner, you have to factor in parking. It's like added $15 to your total, yep. total check. This seat that we got, I always love getting a good seat at a restaurant, but look. It's right next to the pizza bar, so you can literally see them making pizza. After like three minutes of ordering, we already got a salad. Not even three minutes, I was like a minute. I was like... Ooh. Sorry. I was telling Leon I like Caesar salad because the dressing is made with anchovies. Did you ask for a light dressing? Mm -hmm. Good. I feel like with pizza and pasta, you need kind of this. <laughs> I wonder if they get nervous. Actually, when I was really young. There's this one pizza place that I love to go to. Japan? Mm hmm Because I would just sit at the bar and watch them make it, like right now. Oh, look at that smoking, too. It's like the fastest service that I've had in a while. I like this place. I was deciding between this or Kaki Kaki I saw a TikTok of that. I know, it's the Trader Joe's one, the girl who's like... Hey, baby, baby. And I'm, I'm sitting on a toilet. Oh, I haven't seen that one. One of my uh, pet peeves is people who eat really, really fast. Oh, I think that's the pizza. Yay, thank you. That was you. Oh my god. <laughs> Look how big this is. <laughs> that's a lot. That looks really good. Okay, so this one is margarita. The only difference is it's with smoked salt. Dang, the service here is super fast. So fast, I love it. Okay, which one do you want to try first? I'm gonna try this. I'll try this. Oh wow, it's so fresh and hot. Mmm. This is like really, really. Really Very good. simple, but really, really good. Now we just need the chili flakes. Yeah. The dough is really good. 
Dip your dough in the ragu. Got some Ooh. chili flakes. Oh my god. It's really good. Mm. It's hard to eat. <laughs> I take her crust. Honestly, if we waited for a table and then I saw that this experience is like this, I'd be kind of pissed. Like we wait an hour and a half. This is so comfortable. It seems like we have our own little private corner. I remember one time, so I saved the bread to eat for later. And then somebody ate all of my crust that I purposefully was saving. Oh yeah, I do remember that. I just assume because sometimes you leave your crust. This one definitely has more cheese. Mm -hmm. Would you consider this authentic pizza? The reason I ask is because there's a lot of pizzas that real pizza makers say it's not actually pizza. Yep. Or but is pizza just toppings over bread? That's true. That's, that's a that's a good one. Toppings over bread. It's like an open face sandwich. Oh my god! Imagine like we're like pizza is an open face sandwich. But it kind of is like Chicago deep style pizza. I feel like Italian Italian pizza makers wouldn't consider that real pizza. Why? Because it's not made traditionally. So you think of the method. I don't know, I feel like it's different. It has like a thick layer of cheese or more meat. Yep. It's kind of like Japanese sushi trained sushi chefs wouldn't consider certain American style sushi here sushi. We recently had that conversation. Because we were talking to a sushi chef about the best sushi in LA compared to sushi bar. And he was saying that he doesn't even consider that sushi, not in a negative way, but just yeah. that it's a completely different experience. And I think it's the the approach of making the sushi and like the culture behind it. Mm -hmm. Sushi bar, one of the chefs when we went, said that he learned to make sushi in three weeks. Whereas in Japan, it's considered a craft and something that people train for. Like three years just on the seaweed. Ten plus years. On the egg. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ten plus years making egg sushi. So with that in mind, I think it can be applied to similar like pizza, Italian. I think this is pretty authentic. But you wouldn't know. But that's yeah, I wouldn't know. But this is me comparing it to the other pizzas that we can get here. Are you eating the crust? I am. Oh okay. I'm just I just gotta double check, you know? You can have it. But I must say, when I was in Italy, I didn't like their pizza that much. I was I'm really so, disappointed. So I'm really curious why. I don't know. I don't know if it was the true Italian pizza style that I just never had before. So when I had it for the first time, it was a shock to me and I didn't like it. I definitely was, was surprised. I was Ooh. like, I can't believe it. I was so excited. Oh. I mean, I think, the, I think the, one of the shockers I can talk about in terms of food is the first time I went to Korea and the first Korean barbecue I had in Korea the first time I went was not the best because it was like Pork. on the cheaper side and I was like how is Korean barbecue in LA better but then yeah. once I started to go back more I realized that because me in America is like the quality is just better yeah that's a thing like a misconception people have is that in Korea the meat will be better, Korean barbecue experience is better, but actually in Korea they a lot of places just do pork or cheaper meat, but then outside of Korea they'd use better but, better meat. But if you're able to get the Korean meat like Hanu, that's the next level. Thank you. I've never tried it. Hanu is, is really good. I've never Hanu's tried. like Kobe. So like when I, I thought you said Hanu's like COVID. <laughs> when I went back and tried Kobe, well not Kobe, when I tried Hanu, Hanu. I realized that oh shit, this is really good. And then you realize you're paying a lot. Oh. And I'm curious how it stacks up in terms of comparison to here. I feel like here is expensive. Everything here is expensive. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about that. Living in LA is so expensive. Mm -hmm. We're doing a quick calculation like if we were in any other city. Not actually, not in the United States. We're saying like... I actually think we would save a lot of money being in Japan. Which is crazy because people think 
Japan is so expensive. Just the food alone in LA, restaurants, it's just so expensive. You're always gonna be spending $100 at any restaurant, pretty much. Factor in tax. Tax, tip. tip, parking. Whereas in Japan, I was saying you can go to a Michelin star restaurant and eat there for $80. Which lunch is, time. Lunch time, which is wild. We left and didn't talk about the pizza place yet, but I I want to say it was like a 3.5 to 4 out of 5 because the flavors were a little lacking in the sense of like a punch. There's no punch. You have to like put the chili flakes in. Yeah, it's very basic. But then the dough was really good. The dough had like a unique chew to it, like a texture. It was like mochi. Yes, and then when you see them make it, you can see mm -hmm. it like when they stretch it, it goes like... I like the dough. It was very mochi dough-like. And the dough is really good. The, I like the margarita better. I think the other one, it the cheese was too thick. Flavor and the Not cheese much flavor. was too yeah. thick. I recommend going if you like this type of style. It's kind of expensive. But I mean, we okay. So think about this: we had two pizza, one pasta, one salad, one salad and it was like 120 bucks. I say stay tuned and wait until we do a proper pizza comparison video. We'll probably have more people in that because we it would be nice to just you know get everyone's feedback and then we're also going to try a new thing where we're going to pick a topic maybe you guys have suggestions throw it in the comments below we're going to pick a topic every time we eat at a place where we can actually sit down we'll talk about that yeah and we'll cut it so it's kind of like you know it's not boring for you guys we'll cut out the bullshit but it's like podcast style but shorter form while we're eating in a restaurant What's podcast style podcast style like talking oh podcast i thought you like podcast i was like what's podcast I think we're done for today. <laughs>